Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 uh, War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're going to continue our disaster campaign or saving your disaster campaign, the Advent Lockdown. Third part of uh, getting shut down and then essentially saving, the, uh, saving ourselves from an imminent doom. There's one more pack in here. Last time we've destroyed uh, the uh, two uh, tanks over here and essentially that massive cannon so now it is time to uh, take on the last pack and hopefully win the uh, the mission we still have an ace up our sleeves because we have a reaper and we have plenty of up um, claymore mines left over let's just get into a great position nice little fire line here good so how about that it looks about right just want to make sure everyone is in semi-decent cover and by building that line we can really make sure that uh, the line of sight from uh, from them is not violated and if they come closer everyone uh, could take an overwatch shot so we're fine the remaining two uh, smaller tanks here will not really do a lot in terms of structural damage so might as well continue to let um, to let them do their thing boy we have quite a few cooldowns left on her that's not too bad a triplet of archons on the other hand is pretty nasty might as well use this here in order to soften them a little bit up. Oh, there's a Spectre as well. Yeah, I vaguely remember uh, seeing him. And now high ground would be absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, that's not a thing. So we got to get closer. It's just too far away. Can we shift over an action to our Reaper? No, we cannot. Really don't like the position she's going to be, or he's going to be uh, spotted out next turn. Might as well move here. Hmm. Yeah, it's difficult. I, I really don't want uh, the Reaper to be spotted out. At the same time, moving out of full cover into those guys is not a great idea either. One of them will do blazing pinions for sure. The others might take shots and if you're in half cover, that's really not good against Archons. Yeah. 
cannot take anything but half cover if we want to get any closer. I do have an idea, this here is reasonably safe. Kind of without exposing us too much, this should be in range for combat presence. Surprisingly is not. I definitely would have guessed we can see him out there. Good. Just in case our Reaper is being spotted out, I would like to provide the aid protocol. Yeah, this here would be too aggressive, so we're just going to go over here. Just in case they're double moving, not all of them will be able to take overwatch shots. Probably going to vanish. Shadowbound is uh, not an option too far away. Nice little hit. That's good. Good, and there is uh, the blazing pinions as indicated before. Unfortunately, the rookies just don't have a chance to hit this guy. <laughs> Not even close. Wow, double movement into hitting him? That should be our main uh, priority. Certainly the biggest threat on the map at this point. We can use his remaining action in a different way for now. Oh, we do have an overwatch there. Mm, don't want to trigger that. Probably still got to trigger it somehow, unfortunately. So if I want to preserve the action of the specter, those hits here are not optional. Someone has to trigger. Good. Uh, let's get our sniper next. It's a pretty solid shot. I think we're going to take that. There we go. That was a big problem. Now the gatekeeper. That's only a 60% chance to hit. Fortunately, the defenses are very strong with him. Luckily for us, it worked out just fine.
Gotta free up the room here so that we can move others over. We're probably going to take some losses. Let's focus on this guy here first. He's burning and pretty much in melee at this point. Yeah, I gotta get to keep the proximity bonus. The aim of the rookies is so bad that if we want to keep it 50-50, we cannot move too far away. Thankfully, they can, on top of all of their other abilities, dodge. It's always a big fan of dodge as a stat. Of course, not when the enemies have it. Then it is overpowered. But if we have it, uh, it is clearly very balanced and should be even buffed. No, in all seriousness, dodge is incredibly good. Moving up. Hair trigger free action. That's exactly what I want to see, baby. Let's go. That's not exactly what I want to see. Yeah, I might as well stand here. There's nowhere we where we could run and outrun this guy. Nope, not gonna work. Back into full cover, far enough away from that car. And we're going, now the pain train starts. Probably going to lose one soldier, unless we're pretty lucky. Okay, he's spreading out the love, that's fine. lost our ranger like i said we're we're lacking the damage potential to deal with them The ones that are injured might stay back just a tiny bit longer. Come on, focus. Good. One more Archon, come on. Going to shield ourselves because we don't want to lose our specialist. We unfortunately lost our uh, assault. That is very disappointing.
Let's see if Banish solves that issue here. There we go, one hit. And we're done. Perfect. Good. Since there are no more enemies, I'll pause the recording here and just finish the mission so that we can go to the after screen. Just want to uh, keep it as viewer friendly as possible. See you in a bit. Good. Killed nine, uh, 29 enemies and we unfortunately lost the soldier, but that was to be expected. It's a hard mission, uh, specifically if you're under equipped and under leveled. I usually try to do the saving your disaster campaigns without losing uh, someone to not further contribute to the meat grinder, but in this case it didn't work out. So uh, let's look at the after mission briefing. The first step is done on our way to um, hopefully not lose this campaign. Squatty Paris here didn't make it. Rest in peace, buddy. Nice little memorialized photo. We won't forget you. And the flip side, we got a few promotions. Number one, we finally got medical protocol, corporate woods. By the way, just had a discussion about medical protocol with one of our viewers uh, today versus combat protocol. Um, and I use this here as another um, plug to um, advertise for how great the medical tree is. Whilst the combat protocol might be cool uh, and will uh, get you out of a tough situation, medical protocol does not end the turn, so it greatly, greatly contributes to your um, action economy. And on top of that, um, it gets you out of sticky situations way more often than uh, the combat protocol. You can get both um, uh, thanks to the training uh, camp, but if you want to take my advice, definitely favor uh, the medical pro uh, protocol first. We got a sniper who's slowly but surely moving up. I shouldn't have been too worried about long watch because he effectively didn't have that. And we got ourselves finally a uh, first grenadier. Got some Elarium cores, uh, lots and lots of corpses, advanced magazines, and some autopsies for the first time. So let's take a look here, what the remaining rookies are going to become. Got another, um, got another specialist um, up here. I usually tend to color code them right away. Very good, so second specialist. We got ourselves yet another ranger, so it's a great replacement. And she looks even better when color coded. There you go. So that will take care of our losses. And we got a sharpshooter right here. Look at that. Good, color coded him as well in a plain white. And let's see what else we got. Another specialist. So we're good uh, with regards to specialists. That's uh, perfect. We got a few squaddies, many of whom are wounded at this point, and we got ourselves a grenadier. Perfect, also color coded, got everything set up, and Colonel Hunt has definitely carried the run. Fatal did uh, well also. Good, back to our actual problem. No, we don't need heavy weapons now. We need more intel because uh, we gotta make contact with the nearest location. And we need 180 intel for that. Thankfully, uh, the uh, game gives us 29 losses in a sabotage the transmitter action. Well, it's probably not too bad because we can beat the losses. Got a scientist over here, that would be nice as well. Only 10 enemies. 
<laughs> but we can only field um, low ranking soldiers so it's a no-no and uh, that's probably the one to go for 75 intel would get us out of our problem like right away because we would get the intel um, it would almost be there but I'm not sure if we can literally survive that mission so who would be available one two three four five six we would go in with grenadier sharpshooter double specialist skirmisher reaper that's not too bad of a team i think i could i might even be able to pull this one off we need more blue screen rounds but i think we could do that I need one more blue screen round. So let's go for the intel. Going to play this one a bit greedy. We need 75 and uh, I don't want to sell the sector. It's because I need mine shields. This guy is in such, <laughs> such a dire situation and I can't even sell anything. The advanced expanded magazine is good. I like it. Let's get rid of some of uh, this, uh, these corpses here. Don't need the purifiers. We need the chrysalids. He already has the grenade upgrade, so we don't need uh, the mutant corpses at this point. I want to keep the Illyrium cores. Mentioned that uh, the last time. This here is his biggest shortcoming. He does not have a lot of resources. And I think two sectored corpses gotta go. Uh, almost there. Need to keep the facility lead. There we go, 75. Let's build blue screen rounds. And off we go. Like most people, I wanted to believe that the aliens were legitimately interested in peace. Although they left So that is very difficult and we potentially could be whose territory is uh, this uh, the assassin. We just fought the assassin, so technically she can't be here because she has just been defeated. Which lets me wonder why that is very difficult if we're only talking about uh, fighting against 13 enemies. Gatekeeper. Codex. Heavy mech. Lots of mechanical units there, so blue screen rounds will definitely help us. Let's get ready to do this mission real quick. I'll equip the team. I uh, just realized he has not bought the GTS upgrade. How? Why? Are you kidding me? He has made it so much more difficult for himself. 150 supplies. We gotta get that. Where can I get 150 supplies? Okay, I'll do something that I would not recommend you should do, but I will do it nonetheless, just because if we're not doing it, I'm not going to unstuck this campaign. Theoretically, it can be done with five, but that's just... I wasn't expecting, to be honest, that he would uh, not have uh, bought uh, that upgrade. So we are 
going to sell a lot of alien alloys. Gosh, 50. You kidding me? <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy, we just missed the mission, uh, thanks to that. I could now blame myself for not looking up that he did not have squad size too. But I kind of expected that he would have it, to be entirely honest. Big, big bummer and a setback. That was our opportunity to come back and we could have gotten some bonus experience. Good. Let's hope we're going to get some good uh, missions uh, sooner than later. We got some psionic training going. He just started the psionic training apparently. And let's go with Void Rift. Yes, please. If he's a psionic character, we should um, also give him the correct color coding for that. I usually run them as blue-ish. Wow, can't believe that I just missed that mission. And of course, now we're getting a couple of dark events just on top of it. So I dug the grave just a tiny bit deeper. Uh, all advent soldiers have now a chance to reanimate as, as zombies after they die. Hardcore event. Uh, yep, that's bad. That's pretty bad. Uh, loyalty among thieves uh, basically means every one of them uh, gets information if you if they extract info from you. Not the worst one, uh, actually a pretty tame event. And here we got some more promotions, specifically uh, the major sharpshooter who has been promoted. With our new roster, we can finally start uh, building up some more momentum. Um, Mox, um, no fatal rather, is going to go on to this mission. Unfortunately, he would require another high ranking soldier, and we still don't have another sergeant. Uh, that is annoying. Do we have another promotion mission at least? Yeah, he was. He, he essentially blocked himself with those missions because uh, they always require an high ranking soldier and a second high ranking soldier. I'm going to be greedy. And essentially put both of them up here. Ember's chance is high. Okay, I don't care. We, that that is okay for me. But I want to promote the sniper first. Wonderful. Let's go with steady hands. You know what, might as well give uh, the Major here the promotion. A Colonel Sniper is a pretty fierce combatant, so might as well want to use him. Got another Grenadier, which is perfect, that's exactly what we were looking for, so I'm thankful for the, uh, for the RNG of the game here. And... I am co uh, committed to 
uh, now get the sniper to the highest rank. We certainly don't want to let him get captured, so that's not an option. And we're taking a specialist with them. Yeah, I think for that mission we don't need any special equipment. Yeah, I think we're fine. Let's just leave it, uh, leave it with those uh, three. And in 14 days we would at least gain uh, the location, and we're j then continuing to hopefully get level three and kill him i need to uh, take a few chosens off the plate at this point we got an acid bomb i don't know what he was trying to research at this point really there is nothing in the queue I think with blue screen rounds we're pretty much okay. We don't need more experimental ammunition. I would almost go for an experimental heavy um, weapon. And that's fine. We can uh, once we can uh, actually build armor, we should be okay. Also, our guerrilla. Tactic School has almost finished the last training. For you, and we got a so-and-so month. I wasn't expecting anything else. She got set back to here. Additional dark event, not too bad. Uh, attempts to sabotage the Avenger, not bad either. So a lot of sabotage going on, that's okay. Uh, Lost World, not a problem. Infestation, more of a problem. And that one here is okay. We don't know the hidden event. Let's see what he has as options. Speed of weapon research is increased by 15%. Tech defense minus 20. Dude, you're, you're with a back against the wall and you're worrying about um, uh, hacking. That is not what I would take. This here is an excellent option. Lightning strike to deal with hardcore timers. If you are behind, that's a good investment. Between the eyes, excellent. Remove one block of progress, excellent. Double ability point gain, excellent. What else does he have? Ability gain, um, gained by promotions are increased by 25%, excellent. Feedback, excellent. 10% research, a lot, lots of really good stuff. So we're playing it greedy, 25% more uh, promotion right there. And I want to make sure that you get as much experience in as possible. Once we're done here, uh, just turn uh, uh, chain exchange it for lightning strike and potentially the feedback, which is not too bad. There we go. Sabotage. We're still staying relevant. Let's get 280 uh, supplies. That's good. At least the income is stable. And that's exactly what we were uh, looking for. So if I can, uh, the game now realizes we are um, short on Intel and uh, alloys. One thing that you can do if you have a lot of alloys or a lot of um, elerium, um, but not the other resource is just spend the one resource like we did. If the game realizes that you are short on both of them, there is a very, very high likelihood that either landed UFO or a supply run will happen. This here is probably 100 plus uh, each resource. It's going to be tough, uh, but yeah, actually no, but um, we're most likely going to meet the hunter. Uh, there is Codex, Heavy Mech, Sectopod, Elite Spectre, so pretty, pretty beefy enemies. But we can do that 
It's definitely not out of our ballpark. Just need to play it safe. Certainly didn't help to put two of our majors on a covert action. So it's going to be a haunt and a few others on this operation. Theoretically, we can take Dieter Bauer with us. Um, so Reaper, Sharpshooter Specialist, Grenadier, that already sounds, and Ranger, that already sounds like a pretty good team. And maybe we're putting a Psy Ops uh, in there. Dieter has Stasis. Stasis is absolutely fantastic uh, because it can control even large units. Uh, it's kind of a Mimic Beacon-ish type of ability. So yeah, I think that that is going to be great. Um, who is going to be the main damage dealer against uh, the against uh, the mechs? That's probably the Sharpshooter. Mm, potentially the Reaper. Not sure yet. Maybe we're... I'll figure it out. Um, the Skirmisher definitely was a good uh, choice for uh, the blue screen rounds. But it is what it is. I still stand... Um, I still stand firm uh, to my greedy decision to um, progress with the uh, Chosen. Overall, we're almost done with the chrysalid autopsy and afterwards I think every single, yeah look at that, we're really almost done. Everything, uh, a single other uh, thing that we could do, unless it's an autopsy, uh, requires Elarium. Uh, we definitely want uh, powered armor. I can't even imagine why you wouldn't want to go for that right away. So that's our next choice afterwards. And yeah then we're going to essentially do the rest good which brings us to the end of today's episode thanks guys for watching if you enjoyed the content and uh, are as disappointed about me missing that one mission as i am leave a comment down below subscribe if you haven't and uh, most and uh, most important of all see you in the next run guys take care bye bye